Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the latest MGBA Game Boy Advance emulator on your PS Vita. So what you guys need to do first is just go and launch up Vita Shell. Then connect your PS Vita to your PC. So just press select and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC and your PS Vita is connected, basically what you want to do is just go to this link in the description and you want to get the latest version of MGBA. So this was updated in April this year, so just click the link. Then it's just going to bring you to this page. All you want to do is just click on downloads and then what you want to do is just click PlayStation Vita and that will begin downloading the MGBA zip file. So once it's finished downloading, just head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find the zip file in there. So with the zip file, all you want to do is right click it and then select extract here. It's then just going to put it in a file folder and all we want to take out is the mgba.vpk and just copy it to the root of our PS Vita. Should, so it should copy across in seconds and once it's done, we can disconnect our PS Vita from our PC and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on your PS Vita, you just want to head over to your UXO file. You want to scroll down right to the bottom and there you will be able to find the mgba.vpk. So just press X on it and now you can press X to install the package and then just give it a few seconds to install. So once it has finished installing, we can just close out of Vita shell and now we can find mgba on our home screen. So you just want to launch into it. Now once we've launched into the emulator, it has successfully created the MGBA file folder. So now we need to go back onto our PC. So just exit out of the emulator, completely close it down, go back up to Vita Shell and just start it. Then press select. Connect your PS Vita back to your PC and I'll show you guys how to install the games. Okay guys, so we're now back on the PC and you, what you will need, you will need to create a ROMs folder. To do that, all you do, right click, new folder and call it ROMs. And then inside of that, you will put your dot Game Boy Advance ROMs. So as you can see, I've got Metroid, Super Mario and Legend of Zelda. So you guys can get your ROMs from wherever you want. I back them up off my cartridges, but it's entirely up to you where you get them from. So what you want to do is just copy your ROMs folder, go back onto your PS Vita, go inside the data folder, go inside the MGBA folder and you just want to right click and paste then just wait for all of the gamers to copy across and now you can disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I'll show you guys how to start up the emulator so now we can just close up Vita shell and scroll down and just find your MGBA emulator and then start it so once it starts up basically what you want to do is press X on the MGBA folder then press X on the ROMs folder and now you can choose what game you wish to play. So we've got Metroid, uh, these are the games I copied. So let's play um, Super Mario Advance. Now it's going to load into it. Right guys, so we're now on the game. So this emulator is actually really good. It has full working sound, really good quality. The picture quality is really good as well. So as you can see right now, you can actually see the sides of the Game Boy Advance. So if you guys don't like that, what you do is you press square and you can actually change what size the screen is. So we've got quite a few different options here. Obviously we've got original Game Boy Advance, original Game Boy Advance size, and then we've got full screen here, which I really like because the quality of this emulator is actually really good. As you can see, it actually plays the games in HD. So we can just press X to skip this. Let's just go into single player quickly. If you press triangle, you can bring up some more options. So you've got unpause, save state, load state, take screenshot. If we go into configure, there's even more stuff you can do. So we're not really too interested. So let's just go back. Let me just give you a quick demo of this game. See, I'm actually really impressed with how good the colors look. 
um, how good it's sort of optimized to play Game Boy Advance games. It's much better than that um, VHBL Game Boy Advance emulator and the quality of this one is actually really good. Quite a lot of people were saying, um, can I install VHBL on 3.68 with HNCore installed? And I said, well, yeah, you can definitely do it but it's probably not worth it because you can install all of these sort of brand new VPK emulators and most of these emulators are made in 2018 so I'll probably be making some more videos for this if you guys are interested in this sort of thing. Now if you press triangle you can also go to exit game and then this just brings you back to your ROMs list so we can actually play another game here let's just go into Zelda oh and also guys it's also created me a save file so this thing does save as well and then you just press triangle to you know load your save states so yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video I'm actually really impressed with this emulator it's actually really good so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one